tudo que eu mais quero nesse mundo é carnificina. Tom, you know, when it comes to your performance of Eddie and Venom, what did you get to try in this film that you didn't get to try on the first Venom? About 10,000 more lines for Venom for a start. Yeah, right? there you go. There you go. Um, I think fundamentally it was... Um, It, it was being able to implement some of the infrastructure and the sandbox of, of where where I, where Eddie and Venom could maneuver through in beginning, middle, and end, and end, and to to carve a journey uh, to then to then play with Latchley to, to develop the character further because we established in the first uh, Eddie and Venom meet and here they are, and now the second was very much about. How much relationship exercise can we lay down whilst having to follow a, a, a dynamic plot to, you know, which is a, a ride, but how, how much pull and push can we have between the, between the guys, you, you know? You know, speaking of that, that, uh, that tug and pull, you know, Andy, uh, you played very famously the character Gollum in the Lord of the Rings films, like Venom, that was also a character wrestling with these dual personalities. So what was it like for you to direct someone else doing that? Um, it, it, I, Tom, Tom really kind of owned that character, you know, so fully. And just watching, I just literally, I didn't have to do very much, to be honest. I, I was there to sort of safeguard other things and, and to sort of see the whole. But I, I, I mean, Tom runs runs the floor when when he's playing Venom and Eddie because he's such a brilliant so actor. Noisy. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, just, you know, Tom's process is, is just like... He's so self-sufficient. I mean, and and just brilliant. It was just, it was just. I I just literally had to to make sure that I could fr frame it in an interesting way, and 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 then when 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 required, sort of allow the the, the shots to make a, a physical version of Venom, uh, you know, interesting. I suppose, but 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 the whole kind of. Well, we had fun also evolving the the, the, the emotional arc of the, of them, and 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 when. And that fight, I mean, that was an organic thing, actually, when, when, yeah, when Venom yeah. and Eddie kind of had that the, the, the big bust up. Um, we have to unpack the, the pragmatics of it, isn't yeah. it? It's like you get the ingredients and it's like, well, how are we going to fit the room? Right. And how are we going to look at this? And how, what, how can we optimize the, exactly. most, the most from it? Eu sou predador. Você precisa controlar sua violência. You know, Tom, you you share a story credit on this film. You're also a producer. You know, with so much invested now in this franchise, is it your intention to sort of embrace this kind of larger Spider-Man multiverse that's blossoming and have Venom be in these bigger crossover movies now that you've really perfected playing him? Um, there's two there's two answers there that are immediate, <clears throat> both reactionary. <laughs> so um <laughs> I think one would be remiss as a producer not to look at the long league, you know, and say, hey, you know, there, 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 are, there, there's, there are opportunities here uh, that one needs to consider very seriously because we have all the, uh, the capabilities and, um, and the, department, the departments that can take care of all of the cross-checking to make sure and ensure that certain things can and could happen in the future with regards possibilities, regards this IP, in very common So yeah, you know, and the other the other part of me is just so invested in enjoying playing and enjoying my time. Should it be the last movie today, you know, uh, and Venom 2 is the last of it, that, that up until this point, I immersed myself as much in the bed of it and enjoyed every single relationship within it in, in, in creating what I think is, you know, a much stronger movie than the first and, and a step forward again with it. That so I'm just really enjoying playing Eddie and Venom and being with my team, you, you, you know what I mean? So there's, there's long, long wish fulfillment and conceptuals which, which, which cater for team and for, you know, crossovers and universes that, you know, yeah, I care about. And then I would be, I would be remiss not to, and I'd absolutely want to get involved in that, 100%, 100%. But I'm also really happy with where we're at, you know, and we yeah. got to do something, we did it, and, you know, and, and, and that, that's brilliant. So I'm pleased with for sure. we are, you know. Você vai. Ele é vermelho. Você tem que sair agora. Eu deixo você comer todo mundo. Promete? Eu prometo. Aí eu gosto. Ed, eu me sinto em casa com você. É quase família.